Hello gamers, SKS here with something a little different and something for fun. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. And those silly eat guys over in Europe, Lord Cucumber and Gang, you can blame them for this. I have become infatuated with this game. Let's see, I want to turn that on, that on, that on, that on, and that one. Let's turn some mods on. This map pack, I cannot really get it to work unless everything else is off. So this game, I don't know what it is, but it has just got me magically involved in shipping in Europe. I don't know why, I cannot figure it out, but it just amazes me. Well, let's make ourselves so we can get started and get through the first training mission. There's lots of faces here. That guy looks like he's from the actual shipping wars show. That guy looks like he's from storage wars. Maybe they just pulled a whole bunch of A&E personalities. So, oh, he looks... Is that a... Oh, God, what's his name? Makes the bass drop. Skrillex? Good Lord, that looks like my picture from 7th grade. No, not really. So, yeah, the first thing we gotta do is make ourselves. And there's a whole bunch of people. I played golf with this guy last Sunday. There's the LMFAO. They become truckers after their career is destroyed. There's Paul Tuttle. He makes motorcycles. It's a former pope. Maybe Leo the Third. These two guys should be working in Farming Simulator. This guy looks like a pedophile. You all probably like, I look just like that guy. This dude's hat covers his eyes. It's awesome. There's Bill Murray. Maybe Bruce Willis. Uh, man, which one of these looks like me? Actually, this one's probably the closest one possible. I feel that, like in my younger days, I could have looked like that in high school. Real punk ass. So we'll go with that. Um, I actually have... Um... No idea about any of this. Volvo, Scania, Milan, Mercedes Benz. I really have no idea about these, and I know this has no bearing, so we'll put that one. Company logo. Let's be fire, because we're going to be flaming through Europe, delivering action packed goodness to everybody. Company name. This is the hardest part. Uh, haul in ass. Nah, better not. Hillbilly trucking. No. Viva la France. I'm not even going to write that. <laughs> oh, we will be driving in France. Wow. I just had a brainstorm, gamers. Since we're going to be driving through France, nothing says shipping and moving stuff and logistics like Third Reich Trucking. TRT. That is perfect. I am I'm very happy with that. I don't got the right symbol for it, but uh, we'll, we'll go with it. It's kind of like that one. If you reversed them. All right, yeah, we'll go with that. Let's set up our controllers. I will be using a gamepad, real automatic. Uh, we will be looking up and down, and we will be looking left and right. So let's knock those out. We'll be shifting a little bit. We'll load up and see what happens. The city where we want to start in. Well, as you can see here, you have a large map. Just northern Italy, though. Um, one city in Slovakia, which is sad. Poland, you don't go very far into. I'm sure that that'd be expansions. I think there's not even a city here going into Denmark. Very sad. But we do have England, where they drive on the wrong side of the road. And in the rest of Europe. Uh, you even only have part of France, which is sad, because I've been all over France before. I've seen the whole country of France, all of Belgium, all of Luxembourg, and then over to Frankfurt on Main in Germany. And then another place called Bopard, or Bopard. Uh, it's over here somewhere, I think. I've been there. Now, I know there's a city over here called Bad Kissingen, and uh, 
I always wanted to go there because it's this big res resort spa town city. Where do we want to base out of? Dortmund, Duisburg, Dusseldorf, Köln, uh, Magdeburg, Hamburg, Kiel, Bremen. Well, we don't want to go to Dresden. We know what happens there. Nuremberg, Stuttgart. This is Berlin. We won't base out of Berlin. Let's let's base out of Dortmund. That seems that's the same centralized location of three countries here. No, we've already done the tutorial before. I am good to go. The only thing I need to do is go in here and change some of the buttons to my liking. And then I will show you all what the tutorial is like. So let's see here. This loads through. Oh wow. Look at these graphics gamers. I hope they look as good on your end as they do mine. Welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. At last you have the chance to experience your dream job. Driving a truck. Because I've got tired of teaching and now I'm going to drive a truck for a living. Your own transportation company is now open for business but sadly you lack the money to buy a truck. For now you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Your task is to safely deliver a load of sawdust panels to Dortmund Quarry Dock in Dortmund. No shit. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. So again, this is kind of the trial mission that gets you used to the truck. So, um, you know, you can take other views. We're hauling this blue crate. Driving a Scania. Scania, whatever. Obviously, I don't trust us with this lumber. Different views, but honestly, the game is really hard unless you're on the normal view. So, here's the screen. You can actually turn on the radio and listen to real radio stations. I'm not going to do that because, well, you can guess what happens on YouTube when you do that. You can go over here, skills and progress. We'll go with that here in a minute. You can get diagnostics on your truck. We don't own our own truck yet, but, uh,. Let me go in here and fix some of these settings, and it'll take a minute, and I'll be right back. Alright, I got that all knocked out, so let's go back to drive. And just take a look around. This is my beautiful truck that's not mine. And look out the window, hang out it, check out the CB and all that cool stuff. Let's go ahead and start her up. Rev that up. Filling it in neutral. Check out the conditions of the truck here. There's one screen I need to find. That one's the one I want, so I'll know if I have cruise control on. Go ahead and put her in drive. Center our view, and we're going to take off. You'll notice on the map down there, you've got different things that you could cycle through using your F keys tells you the damage, what you're doing. We're supposed to be there, expected between 9.29 a.m. So this is actually, we've got a long, well, it only says one hour and ten minutes, so I don't know why it's saying so long, but we'll see. But real driving rules. Let's go ahead and uh, put on the turn signal. Here comes a truck, so we obviously don't want to pull out in front of him. Now traffic can be hectic in some uh, areas, which pisses me off. So I lay on the horn. Comes a bus. That guy's hauling some cars. That's some high-value cargo. We should be good to go to cross after this. So let's go ahead. Turn out here. I have a bad habit of turning my wheels too much and that stalls the truck out. I never knew that could be a problem. Hey baby. What's up? Hey! How much? Well, some women in Europe, just bitches. Alright, so let me try to make the curve. I, I am an excellent driver, I want you all to know this. <laughs> Oh, there's question marks down here on the map. You know, you got your little GPS, and then, uh... Oh, you discovered a recruitment agency. Holy shit, that guy was flying. 
Did you all see that? That's ridiculous. But, um... Oh my god, I just pulled out in front of a car. The AI is being retarded right now. Okay, let's try to make it there in one piece. So we're delivering cargo. Let's go ahead and fix my mirrors. Okay, didn't want to do that. You can see us driving along here. Holding up traffic behind us. I just went off the road and hit a sign. That's okay. No big deal. That's why you should always pay attention in Euro Trucking Simulator. <laughs> I do have the speedometer on miles per hour because I've got a little guide here next to me telling me and I am terrible with kilometers. It just makes me feel like I'm driving way too fast and I shouldn't be. So we'll set the cruise control for about 44 for 43 miles per hour. It likes to kick off sometimes. Obviously it doesn't want me to here. We gotta turn up here anyway. So we'll see how that goes. I can't believe I already hit a sign. It took me a matter of like five minutes to damage. Let's see here. Anybody coming? Nope. No, we're good to go. Awesome. That turn was a lot easier. We're out on the open road, enjoying life as a trucker. SKS is highly entertaining. I do. I get this game. I get off on this game. I don't know why, but it's just amazing. Those guys are flying. He, granted, he didn't have a truck or a trailer behind him, but still. I have no clue what the speed limit is. To be honest, with those of you who live in Europe, I have no idea what half of your signs on the road mean. I'm guessing these little white ones are just your kilometer meet markers. Hey guys. Oh shit. Better stay on the road. You cannot wander your eyes on this game. It is much too realistic for that. You will wreck. You will die. Actually, I don't know if you can die on this game. But, uh... You can wreck. I mean, I've already hit a sign. But things feel like they're going pretty smooth right now. Just driving along. The game seems to be going a lot better today. For some reason, last night I was playing it on my uh, my offline account, I guess I'll call it. And uh, maybe some of those mods were just not kicking in the right way. But today it seems more realistic. I did add another one, more traffic, to see if that would help, because it was getting kind of boring. Let's go ahead and get ready to turn over here. Where are we going? We're going to Erovia, whatever that is. So yeah, I don't know anything about the trucks. This one seems to be bogging down. I know I don't have the wheels turned that much. And you do start out with crappy trucks, and you've got to move your way up in the world to get stronger ones. It's very, very, ba it's very uh, build up from the ground floor so that you can earn what you get. I don't like the mods that make your truck go as fast as possible and all that. I, I mean, I actually have the realistics mod on, so when you hit the, everything bounces and stuff like that. Oh, we're going off road. This is wonderful. I'm going to get this truck all dirty. So again, you can see here my awesome driving ability. So we're going down this dirt road at 35 miles per hour. I don't know what that is for you all. What, like 55 kilometers? Some bull crap. No, that'd be like 90... No, what is... I don't know. 70 kilometers? Isn't it like 43... 70 kilometers, something like that. Oh well. All I know is we're on a dirt road, we're going way too fast. So, this will end well. Let's slide it in there. Oh, I will give you all one heads up. I will definitely not be backing up the trucks in most cases. Why? I suck at backing up trucks. Oh, hey guys. Oh, we're in a quarry or something. Seems legit. Let's go to, oh my god, we're going way too fast. I'm going to die. 
I hope this is worth the trouble of getting us down here. Gee whiz. What do y'all want this? The good thing about these quarries, though, is if you make like a late night delivery, you could sleep here. You do have to do that once you get uh, driving multiple missions. You will have to sleep like normal truckers. And when you own your own truck, you'll have to fill it up with gas. And I just find those aspects of the game like really interesting. And obviously you all pay an ass load for gas over there. I thought gas was high in America per gallon. But lord, you all get ass fucked when it comes to uh, liters. Oh, here's where... Oh my god. I actually could go up here and turn this truck around and maybe park this bad jewel. We'll see. I would like the extra bonus points this early in the game. Hogan! Oh, Let's put this in reverse and see what we can do here. That works for me. Okay, let's just coaster in here if we can line it up. Bring it over just. BAM! To skip. What? Oh, I went too far. There we go! Extra bonus points! Excellent! No damage to the cargo, just to the front of my truck, because I ran into stuff. So we get ex ex uh, experience points, you level up, you can unlock things for your trucks and things. Let's hit continue. And go on, and we'll probably take one more. Here's our garage. Oh, I forgot it introduces this. This is your headquarters. Doesn't it look wonderful, gamers? Graffiti already included, all that good stuff that you want to show that you're a wonderful business pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck. So we don't have anything, so what we have to do is you've got to go to the job market. I mean, right now we have $3,336, so Third Reich Trucking is off to a slow start. Once you buy your own truck, you can take out a loan once you the bank offers you some money, but they're around a hundred K, you know. So that's something to worry about. But right now we have to do quick jobs. We're in Dortmund, so we want to hit this. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. We can go to Bremen. We can take dry milk to Frankfurt. Ooh. Just a little less than that. And here you'll see different symbols. Standard delivery, uh, when we open up some other ones, you'll have rush de delivery, immediate delivery. You'll be able to go longer distances. Uh, let's take this dry milk. I'm going to leech. that take us into Belgium? No, let's try to stay in uh, Germany right now. So we'll take this one. We're going to have to get out of this. Well, no. I, I keep getting confused. Like if, I, if you drop off something like in this quarry... Uh, there was a little button there. Let me go in here again and I'll show you. Like on the job market, it's got expiration where it says offer expires in 34 minutes. So if we was at the quarry and not at the location with our own truck, we might not get there within 34 minutes and you would lose the deal. So that's something you got to keep an eye out for when you get your own truck. Alright, so we're in our truck again. What's our load look like today? Well, it's just a basic crone trailer experts you can also make uh, skins for your trucks which I probably need to do that with my Third Reich shipping truck I'll have to find somebody artistic enough but uh, let's go ahead and start this, ooh I like the inside of this truck the interior here hmm it's pretty nice. I'm going to have to keep my mind on these, so like when I look for my own truck, what kind I want to buy. Let's go ahead and put this in gear, and let's GTFO. Always signal. Be safe. Let's try not to go out in front of trucks again today. I think we should be good after this. 
I hope we're going to be good after this. People are not very nice about giving you space or anything on this game. There's no respect for truckers. You Europeans are dicks when it comes to driving. I mean, I live in America. For me to tell you that, if your game is... Or if you, this game is any response to how you all act in real life... You know... Hey! You asshole. You didn't even honk back. Nobody loves me. No love for SKS and Third Reich shipping. Or Third Reich trucking. Excuse me. Let's move on down the road. This is, as you can see down there, we our estimated time of arrival is 3.27 p.m. It's 11 right now. It should take us 3 hours and 55 minutes to get this load there. So. Oh, I have new mail. Oh, shit, there's a red light. Oh, it turned green. This guy's going to blow me away because he's obviously not carrying a load. Yeah, the, the graphics on this game are awesome. It's just, they put a lot of work into it. I can't wait till they start. The only thing I wish they would do is instead of automatic offenses and stuff, I think you should be able to get away with speeding sometimes. Um, and then perhaps, like, have cops sitting there where you get pulled over by police officers and then get a ticket. You know, and if you get so many, you have to, you know, just add more realism into it. I mean, I think that would be awesome. We gotta go up here and go around the loop, it looks like, and get on a different road. I have no clue what these roads are. I mean, in America, we got interstate this and that. It just seems like in Europe, you all name them after alphabetical letters. We're, we're on the A3 or the M4, or maybe you're all just playing a game of Battleship. I, I have no clue, really. But we gotta go around the loop the loop and get on a different road. Joy. Let's honk for joy. The horn sounds kind of weak on this truck. And the gears, I have no idea about gears. It's like D4, 3, D3, oh, we're on uh, D12 now. I mean, that's just, what? Obviously, I'm not a trucker. What is this, 40 kilometers? That's 20-something miles per hour, I guess. I'm going to get so many tickets because I don't remember my changing to kilometers to miles and stuff like that. Oh, this truck, you're killing me. Get some power. Give it more power! Alright, we're up here on the main road. So what is this road? The 45 or the A5 or something like that? Better let this car overtake me here. Then we'll get over and almost clip it off. Frankfurt, Köln, and Dusseldorf. Where is it? There is that the 45. Am I reading that correctly? Yep, the 45. Huh. Okay. So we're on road 45. Going less than 45 miles per hour. Yeah, we're not going that way, so we'll stay in this lane. Yeah, oh, we even went the asphalt. I'm sure that joke is made like 3 million times a day in Europe for tourists. Oh, we could take the exit to Asphalt. Oh, we should get over and let this guy have some room. Look at that. SKS being awesome and nice. But did you all ever think that I'd play a game where I'd be pleasant like this? Wonderful. Of course, for other truckers. That car out there, he can kiss my ass. Ah, oh, it's such a beautiful day to deliver goods and shipping and try to earn some more. If you look over there on the dash on the dashboard button, our little GPS window, you got the miles per hour, that's how fast you're going. You've got the little truck symbol is the damage, so the more red that turns, that's the more damage you've incurred on your truck. You obviously have the gas gauge next to that, which if I hit instruments, if you look down on the dashboard, you can see the fuel gauge there as well. Um, the next one back to that's got the guy in the bed. There is a tiredness level once you've driven for so long, varying between 8 to 10 hours, it seems like. I don't think it's the same amount every time. Your driver will get tired, and you'll have to park and sleep or go to a hotel. Um, 
so yeah, and then after that's the mail one. Obviously, you all know what an email button looks like. So yeah, it's really a realistic. I, I really like this aspect of it. It's just, uh, it's a really, I like this game and I have no idea why. That's why I thought I would share an episode with you all and let's have fun with it. Um, I don't know how far I'll go. I don't know if this will become an LP series. I don't know how much love you all have for... Oh, we can't get over now. This car is passing me on the inside lane. We'll lay on the horn. Asshole. How do you say asshole in German? I need to start yelling that at people. I'm sure there's another team. Was it Scheisskopf? No, that's shithead, right? Scheisskopf! <laughs> probably get banned for YouTube now for using European profanities. They're probably not allowed in some sense. Oh, but yeah, I was worried about getting this game. I thought, oh god, you gotta buy a wheel, you gotta have the pedals, and I found out that no, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. And it makes me feel just as in control of the truck. I mean, is it as realistic? No. No, not at all. But, um, it's still, you still get to have fun with it. Oh, there's some hay bales. That's nice. A little farming action going on over here. That's the thing that, I, that's the only thing I regret, like, growing up, you know, when you're young and you ride with your parents, you get to sit and look at everything out the windows, and then when you start driving yourself, you can't do that anymore. And it's so sad. It's like you miss one of the greatest aspects of driving across the country or wherever you're at is you don't get to look at everything. I remember when I rode with my brother from vacation when we went with his family down to South Carolina. And uh, I just looked at all the stuff, like the terrain changes and stuff. I was like, man, if I was driving like him, you have to watch traffic. You can't pay attention to anything going on in the outskirts. But... Uh, you know, this game gives you the opportunity to do that, but in reality, probably need to get over here, because you all don't have, like, lanes that, like, go off as turning lanes. It's just freaking, oh, we're going to send you off the interstate, or the Autobahn, or whatever it's called, and, you know, you have to learn it, what was that, 90? So that is 55. Man, I'm already on it. How about that? SKS knows the rules. He's a trucking king. He'll ship your goods because he's got a big truck. Not really, since I don't own my truck. What are the signs with the white? They're white with blue diagonally bullshit on them. That's just. I have no clue what that is. No clue whatsoever. This is a decent curve here. Yeah, overcorrecting steering in this game can get you wrecked super fast. Let's get on over. You just, uh... Oh, I need to get back over again. I got over too soon. Here, I'm trying not to be an ass, and thank you, sir. You're letting me over. I don't know what these things are here. Are they speed traps? These towers? I've never seen those before. Let's see, we're going straight. I ah, see, we can go to the asphalt that way. Olsfort. It must be a very popular place. I heard there's some asshole talking shit there. <laughs> he made a joke. But yeah. I, I like I said I don't know what interests me in this game so much but it just I'm in love with it it just makes me feel happy about what else they're gonna bring out for this game what are they gonna add on it how are they gonna make it better what's you know what's some other things multiplayer would be cool I think there's already mods for that you know you could be driving and competing against other people or you know, other people could be other people could be driving regular cars, you know, and doing things. I don't know. I thought the speed limit was 55 miles per hour, or 90 kilometers. You all are going way too fast. I'm sure that if I tried that, I would get a ticket. 
Oh, check out the... Tr they're working on the lumber over there. That's cool. We need to get over, though. Holy shit! No, we don't. We need to get back over here because these assholes don't know how to drive. We gotta get off on this exit anyway. Wow, that was close. And he just whipped over into this... To get on this off... Wow! Holy crap! I cannot believe that. Oh, wow. This game is... This might be worse than some of the platformers I play. So we're going to Frankfurt on Main. I've been there in real life. Do I remember much about it? No, I just remember going to the hotel we went to. Wow, that guy has a huge-ass load. Never thought I would say those words in my life together. Oh, hey, dude. 90 kilometers, so 55 through here. Let's get over. So, um, yeah. Some of those truckers are really, uh... Making some money. I'm not making shit. I'm having to dodge AI cars who want to kill me. Oh, we discovered Frankfurt. I don't know where we need to go once we get up here. Hopefully my GPS will zoom in a little bit more. So gamers, does that look like Frankfurt? I don't remember seeing tall buildings. Of course, I was probably on the outskirts of it where the airport was. I mean, we stayed at a bar that was uh, a bar and a hotel that was in the airport. Like, all I remember is getting really drunk there. <laughs> and since they misspelled the word Tennessee in the bar, we got all of our Tennessee whiskey for free. And you can just imagine. And I think I told a girl named Paris that I loved her, and I didn't even understand what she was saying. But, you know, it's kind of ironic that we was in Germany and a girl was named Paris. How about that? Well, it looks like our destination is going to be on the left up here, so I'll go ahead and switch lanes. As we seem to be stuck in traffic here. Taka Takisa! I guess that's what that means. Let's see. Everything else looking okay out here? Looking like it. Oh, green light. Let's try to head on up the road here. Lots of stuff here in Frank... Oh, are you shitting me? Really? Another light. I guess it gives us time to look around. Roof cam! So yeah, is that what Frankfurt looks like? Those cool buildings over there? Hey, there's a hotel. Maybe that's where I stayed at. I wonder if it's connected to an airport. Sometimes you can see planes flying around if you're near an airport. I don't know what... Th is that like a space needle over there? They have one of those there? That's pretty cool. Man, I must have missed a lot. I stayed drunk way too much when I was in Europe. Alright, so we got a hotel there. There's some kind of lot there to the left or the right. We're hitting another... Oh, we got a green light, but everybody's not going. Come on, go car with your funny license plates. traffic. This is the only thing that would kill me if I was a real trucker. Are you fucking kidding me, car? Now you speed up, you piece of shit. Wow. Hey, we're at Tesco. I don't know if that's a real company. Every little helps. So let's turn into Tesco here. And let's see where they want this load. Oh, we might get lucky again and be able to pull through. Wow. Oh, my truck was rubbing the gate back there, but you all didn't see that. Let's see if we can just, uh. Okay. Oh god, no, it's the other way. Come on. Oh, 
How is that not in there? That is so close. Great. Let's try to straighten this up a little. Okay. I know this is cheating. Oh, I guess I should put it in reverse. Holy fuck! Holy shit! No! <laughs> you know what? We're going to hit enter and skip parking. <laughs> oh, we leveled up. We are now a newbie. Made uh, 3,000. Got 249 experience points. 3,577 euros. Awesome. Oh, and we get a skill up point. Um, I'll go over these real quick and then we'll end the video. You've got ADR training, which is for different classes of things, explosive gases, flammable liquids, flammable solids, toxic and infectious substances, and corrosive substances. I've really not seen a lot of these offered to me. Long distance. This is probably what I'm going to take because you want deliveries that are farther away because that's where the money is. Then you've got three here, high value cargo, fragile cargo, and just in time delivery. My advice to you is to maybe put a point on each one and then level one up all the way. Eco driving, honestly, sorry, tree huggers, it's ridiculous. So we get, let's get long distance uh, deliveries. So we can go up to 217 miles now, plus 5% higher reward, and 25% experience bonus for deliveries distance longer than 155 miles. Bam! Let's apply that. And we had mail. Let's see what it says. Brand new Scania trucks for sale. Dear sir and madam, we are a certified retailer of Scania or Scania, whatever. We offer a wide selection of different configurations and we can also perform customizations to any, accommodate any special wishes. Please visit our showroom in Hanover. The truck you have always dreamed of might be waiting behind the door. Best regards, your Scania truck dealer. How about that? We don't have the money for that yet, so we need to level up some. But gamers, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Have Fun with Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is SKS with Third Reich Trucking. I'll see you all next time.